Non-verbal communication can be an important part of holding the attention of pupils during a lesson. That's according to body language expert Chris Caswell. Chris, who's also an assistant head at Mighton School in Warwick, looks at the techniques being used in this drama session, which could be used in any lesson. Having got our pupils in, have them in the position where we command authority, how do we actually hold their attention and take their ideas forward? Here we have Alan. Alan's teaching drama to a year nine group. And we can see immediately from the way in which he is gesturing to the pupils and he's nodding his head that he's looking to engage. And he's now beginning to invite them into the topic of the day. The radioactive waste could have got out and it could have destroyed the countryside and everyone becomes radioactive and people start to die, yes? When he needs children to think about issues, he taps his head. He, he's really saying, as a mimic would, this is how it works. He's saying to the children, think along with me. Maybe have a, somebody giving me a bit of narrative thought in the head of what's happening. And you can see his fingers a pinch in ideas, pulling in concepts. He captures their ideas, indicates who it is that he wants to speak, and then holds on to that idea. Although he's standing fairly upright, he leans slightly forward. He moves momentarily into their territory, into their minds, without threatening, but to ensure that they're engaged with the topic. He conducts their learning, emphasising points with the jab or a, a, a baton movement of his hand. He's looking intently. He's looking for the next response that he can latch on to and add emphasis to. When he has the answer he wants, he holds his hand there to reinforce that that is the sort of response that will take that group further in their thinking. He gets them on board. He makes himself part of their learning. Thank you, guys. You can find more tips to boost your teaching on the Teachers TV website.